Hello, hello everyone! Deanna here, and thanks so much for being here. So today's video is going to be a book review, and the book I'm reviewing is going to be The Library of the Dead by T.L. Hocho. I'm going to read the synopsis that I have for this book. In this dystopian future of Edinburgh, Europa Moyle can see and hear the dead. In order to put food on the table for herself, her gran, and her little sister, she ghost talks. She passes on messages from the dead to their loved ones. It's a full-time job and she barely ever breaks even. And some ghosts are persistent, especially one ghost with a missing son. Against Ropa's better judgment, she's pulled into a deep mystery where children are disappearing and if they do reappear, they're not what they once were. Just how deep does this mystery go and if Ropa finds herself dragged down into it, Will she be able to pull herself back out? So this one came to my attention because it was one of the options available for my book club that I'm part of uh, for the month of November 2022. So this was the one, one of the books that was available. Actually reading both books for November because they both looked really interesting. But this one was the one that I picked first because I felt like it sounded like a really fun mystery type kind of little bit of like that fantasy occult type of kind of talking to ghosts which I love those kind of books um, but like a bit of a dystopian future which those are fun too and it really just sounded like it was going to be uh, an interesting I would say YA type book because she is about 14 years old um, I would say it's even younger than that then but sometimes she read as though she was older so even though she was only 14 she's dropped out of school she's not attending school she ghost talks primarily as her living and her way that she has to have responsibility for the family and just her way of kind of talking and stuff she feels more like a late teenager um kind of young adult so there's definitely that type of feeling with it and I wouldn't say this is a middle grade reader at all. And um, I would say that it is the first in a series. So this one had a lot of story building and trying to get the background. But it was done in a way that it was a lot of info dumping. It was a lot of reading things that sometimes was just trying to help us understand things. There was a lot of stuff thrown at us, especially about the magic system, because the magic system, she, Ropa herself is learning about it, and so she's reading textbooks and things like that as though she's in school, and so then we're reading the textbooks with her almost, and so that can get very dry through some of it. Very it, To me, I found some of that very dull and just very much too much info dumped at me that I just my eyes almost glazed over reading it so there was a little bit of that and then there was also a bit of some of the storyline was almost disjointed of what was kind of going on especially when it comes to the library of the dead like the whole book is called the library of the dead so you would think that would be your central plot point and what this whole book is about but it was really only just kind of glossed over and even that we learn so much about the magic system and we get all of this kind of information thrown at us but when it comes to the library Ropa and us as the reader are completely left in the dark on what the library even stands for, what they even do there, what is even going on throughout the whole book. I never really understood what's really going on at the library and maybe that's just because it is book one and it's going to build more on other books and other the rest of the series but it just for me kind of was a bit of a misstep when that's literally what the title of the book is and we are introduced to the library we do see a part of the library but it's not really a central focus and 
we honestly are barely given any details about the library so that I found kind a little frustrating reading this and a little bit of like why just even the way that it's presented to Ropa and how she's even introduced to the library and then gets kind of sucked into it it's very much like how and why <laughs> so a lot of questions there and this one other than my usual like spreads I didn't really do a whole big spread on this one I just did a little section here in my reading journal just to kind of put some points about what I thought um, and so I think because it was the first in a series and it wasn't quite what I was expecting I think that's where I was kind of disappointed so I did end up giving it three stars I think hopefully as the story progresses like I said in future books that are released hopefully that changes and the rest of the series gets really interesting because I think there's some interesting elements to the story the dystopian future kind of what's going on the fact that she can talk to ghosts and things like that there's a lot of interesting parts I just don't think they were used as well as they could have been in this first book to really pull us in as readers um, and I think sometimes Europa fell into what does happen sometimes to protagonists where she was almost too self-sufficient. She was almost to the point where she was the only one that would figure anything out herself. She barely had anyone else to really help her with anything. So there wasn't really like a wise older person kind of teaching her the ropes or anything like that. It was like she was seeking all the knowledge herself. There was only really two characters, her gran and then another individual that she meets at the library that really kind of helped her a little bit. But even that um, wasn't really to the amount that I think would have made this a really good story that really pulled us in as a reader because it's almost like the library is an institution that she's trying to break into and figure out more and usually when that's happening we need to know more about the institution we need to know what's going on so that we can relate and understand the story but instead we're kept so much in the dark as readers just like Ropa is that it was almost just just frustrating to read it because it was like what is this even all about what is even going on? Why is Ropa not asking, like, figuring more of this out with other people helping her, with some of these individuals and adults? Like, it, that, to me, just did make it a little too unreal and a little too... Um, it took me out of the story a lot because it made me just, like, frustrated to the point that I just couldn't enjoy the story as much, so... There was just just too much left in a big question mark to the point that some ways I almost wouldn't be as interested to continue. I think it's just because I do appreciate the story that I do want to continue and I do appreciate what I'm seeing as like the potential there. I just don't know how well it was executed unfortunately. But that was kind of my thoughts uh, I even put in my mad scribblings this is like where I just kind of have my rough draft of my thoughts and how I do my rating I even put at the bottom here potential because it's uh, the book in three words and the only word I could really think of was potential because I think it has a potential to be a great series as just the first book was a little lackluster in a way because I think sometimes too there was so much going on that it was hard to jump from like okay now we're doing this and now all of a sudden we're over here and then what happened to this and where where is the library play into this so there was a lot of just disjointed world building going on that made it very much feel like we were just thrown in with no info and that can sometimes leave a very dissatisfied taste as a reader. So hopefully 
future books kind of will help to satisfy that need to understand the situation and have some of those questions answered. So we will definitely see and uh, hopefully they'll be explained as it go on. If it was, it's more of that kind of info dumping and just like reading textbooks almost, I don't find it's going to be as enjoyable. So it might be a pass on a series for me if that's how it continues. But if it gets more into Ropa's relationship with like her gran and her sister and even the other people in the story that are kind of helping to guide her along, maybe that could be interesting if she plays into a bit more of like how the ghosts kind of help out and things like that because there was a little bit of that here and there but again it was just like a lot thrown at the wall looking to see what sticks and some of it was a little too much so that was just some of my thoughts on this book uh, so that's why I gave it three stars but I'm very curious if you have read anything from T.L. Hachu or if you read The Library of the Dead or any of this series let me know I'd love to hear your thoughts on it below and uh, I'd just love to hear if maybe you're intrigued by this story or what you think about maybe how difficult it can be to start a series when it's a lot of info dumping and do you find that that is something that's very prevalent in the first book in a series or do you like it better when it is kind of throughout the book throughout the series you're learning more and more and you're seeing it all unfold i, I think again this has a little bit of some some things were too much information and then some of the things i wanted to know there was no information on so we'll kind of see how this story progresses as the series continues but those were my thoughts let me know what you think down below if you like this video give it a thumbs up i appreciate you watching i hope you have yourself a wonderful rest of your day night evening whatever time it is wherever you are Thank you so much for being here. Take care of yourselves and you will see me next time. Bye!